developments between the two churches have been remarkable in the past 50 years. And certainly the Vatican Council was important in encouraging greater relationships with other Christian churches and especially with the Orthodox. Well, in, in some ways, I think we're in a different world altogether. Um, if you remember, uh, back in the late 60s and early 70s, uh, Pope Paul VI had several historic meetings with the Patriarch of Constantinople and also with other major Orthodox leaders. And then Pope John Paul II continued that in his time. Uh, and those were meetings that really were unheard of before that. We're living in a world where the symbols are very different. And I think where Catholic seminarians and Orthodox seminarians read each other's books, often will go to a liturgy in the church or the other. Uh, we're in a world where we take this in a way as one of the things that religious people do. The important thing is I think we have to recognize that the division between the churches took place over the course of time. Although we kind of identify some key dates in that process, such as 1054, when we look at the history, we know it took place over centuries. Now we're in the process, hopefully, with God's help of healing that schism. And I think we recognize it doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't happen in five years, 10 years, 20 years, 50 years. But it's a gradual process of reconciliation. So just as our division took place over time, Hopefully our process of reconciliation is also taking place over the course of time.